Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer. Welcome back to Pro Cycling Manager 2020 All Rounder. This is episode number 56. We're into the final 30 kilometers at the Doors Door Hit Hagland. And we are the day before the U.S. National Championships get underway. Got a couple riders to support me in this one as we approach these last 23k. Plankart and Single Dam. Uh, breakaway is nearly caught. It's a little bit of a downhill finish, which is good for me. Team objective, uh, just puncher today, so nothing big, uh, not even a position assignment. I should be the able to pull off a top like 10, but can I get speed. higher? Uh, well, we'll find out soon enough. The are the There's last definitely a little fatigue stage. in the field, trying to catch these last four riders, setting ourselves up for the finish. But with just two support riders, I can't quite go as hard no as I would normally. Okay, we'll wait till about 9k or about 8.5. While the pack is okay, close to the finish line, everybody seems to agree that the stage will be Reset. won in a sprint. Who's going to be faster? Single dam. Plank art. Okay. Left hand side of the road where there's a little space. Oh, come on, plank art. Can you do what you told? Alright, 5.4. Definitely the time to start getting, getting out front and uh, setting things line. up here. Okay, 99 now, 4k to go. Okay, 2.4. This is definitely attack time, especially when we're starting that downhill. For the final sprint. Okay, sprint. And transcend. Oh, where did I go? There it is. 1.2. Far enough out. Just a little bit of energy used. We do have a big right-hander here. I'm already Watch not out. in the there prime position. Case the bowl right next to me. Bellerini. These guys are going to be faster. But it is a top 10. Case full for the win. Man. Bellarini second. Just as I kind of saw and suspected. Seventh in the overall. Definitely a decent place to be. It looks like I could have gone a little bit sooner with that the downhill. Are still uh, in. But I still had my guys. It was ultimately getting them to go a little sooner. And that would have drained my red bar a bit faster. But probably talking maybe 100 meters or you. so on that setup. Uh, those two didn't exactly get me in the optimal position anyway, and I'm obviously not a top sprinter, so I'm fine with seventh. I mean, Guillaume Say, the actual sprinter on the team, who had the whole rest of the team supporting him, got 10th. My lead out guy got 14th. Uh, Niels Ekoff, in this case, led out Case Bull in uh, our career mode <laughs> title. Ekoff is an 82 sprinter. Uh, case bull 77 78 so apparently uh, Ekoff has not reached that level in this one u.s national championship on to the individual time trial not my strong suit 18 kilometers today sets us up for a 50 50 split on that prologue and time trial i only end up with a plus one race day condition uh, when i'm on a fitness peak and should have a plus two so little unfortunate on that part uh, that puts me at a 71 73 so a 72 with the stamina resistance at 73 and a half so kind of average out of everything is a 73 for the day meaning it could be tolerable the time I could be within a minute but it's probably not gonna be great <laughs> I'm not a great climber there's a little uphill section there Mostly flat though. I think we're pretty much within the three degrees either way. We don't seem to be going any proper uphill, downhill, meaning it stays on that time trial slash prologue rating. And we're not going to get a fantastic time today. I'm going a little bit fast. We'll need to recover some, but I think 
there's some downhill to the end actually so let's try push a little harder it's okay if we lose some time it's not like we're gonna do well anyway but if we can count on a little recovery to the finish line yikes I'm like spinning right there <laughs> Lost a lot of time. 12th overall, 27 seconds. Like I said, there was a chance that we could keep this within a minute. And at 27, two-thirds of the way, really actually about three-quarters of the way through. Not bad, but I'm definitely deficit on energy. And I don't think we're going to be able to make that much up towards the end. I'm going to back off some. Uh, let's hope we get a decent downhill coming here in a moment. And there we go. Can we arrow tuck? Yes, we do. But we're back out of the arrow tuck. That lasted for a moment. There's another moment. That's really helping saving me. Uh, gel energy just dropped right at the end. 10th place, 35 seconds. Yeah, that's that's not too bad. But can I hang on to a top position? Well, we'll find out. There was still quite a few riders to go. Already out of the top 10. The rider crossing the line is credited with the best time so far. Out of the top 15. It was within that minute, but later on, they got faster. The favorite, Milton Taylor, took second. Joey Roscup took the win. I think I was top 20 still. 18th, minute 17 down overall. Plus two race day condition would have been easily enough to get the five seconds I needed to get into the top 15. It's the road race is the one I care about. It is the one that is counting on the fitness peak and on the uh, objective. So I should have a plus three. And I've definitely not recently been getting my plus twos that I should have been getting over this last few weeks. So on average, I've been well below it. I'm due a good race day condition. Can I at least get that plus three? Can I get better? Can we retain the title? Is it retaining? I know I've won it twice. Was it the last two years? I'm losing track already. Yikes. The long overdue boost to the race day condition does come today. Plus five. Real shot at it. Uh, objective, finish in the top ten. Objective, free element. I'm the only one from the team here anyway, so of course it's free element. It's do what you want, when you want, how you want. I'm a Baradour, so I might as well go in the break and hope the break can hang on. We have a two-minute advantage already. 46 riders behind. 74 Mountain, 76 Hill, 80s for the Stamina Resistance, 73, 71 on the Sprints, 82 on the Flat. I could really, really uh, put in for a good result today. Two and a half minute gap. And that seems to be about where we've decided we're happy and content and slow down. Uh, the field, meanwhile, letting us to go out a little bit further to three and a quarter. And we begin the second climb of the day. Set this to about a 53. Seems a good place to maintain. Two laps complete. 8 to go. We're now about a quarter of the way through the stage. It looks like I might be the strongest climber. 53, I'm going right to the front and pulling us up the climb. That's a really good sign if I'm the strongest climber because this is going to come down to whether the field lets us stay away and who in this group can outclimb the rest. There actually are some favorites in this group with me. For one thing, EF has two riders. There's another team in here with two riders as well. But you have Roskopf, you have Tanner Putt, Edinger, Brown are here. I mean, they're okay, but especially with Roskopf, we have another favorite. And we are starting to pick up the pace. 
definitely pushing harder than before now into the 70s uh the gap's down to two minutes though so we're about halfway through this thing and it's definitely uh going a bit faster than it was Uh, Roskopf not working. He's got his teammate doing the work for him. That's difficult for me in my prospects. And we see our first split. Two riders dropped on the climb there. And we're down to five at the front. Still two EF riders though. Sixty K to go. This group is getting more and more select. Peloton, hard to tell exactly how far behind they are, but uh, I'm thinking it's not that big of a gap, a little over a minute. Three times up the climb to go. Okay, Roscop now turning the screw here. This is good because it drops another rider. And actually, we're still two minutes ahead of the peloton. And the peloton's starting to thin out, and now it's just Roskopf and I. He lost his teammate. This is excellent news, 50k to go. We only have to climb that twice more. Only downside is it's two riders to try to hold off. The peloton, but you can see just how quickly all those guys were lost. Descending's my thing. I've got the 80 downhill. I could actually get away from him on the descent. The pace seems much too high I'd for wait to do riders. that until the last time. Let's see, do I have Roskopf? No, but he's definitely a climber first and foremost. Well. Time trial is first and foremost, and then a climber second. So that's where he poses a threat is on the climb. But he's not going to be great. I, I think I definitely have the advantage, especially if I could just hang with him on that last climb. And then on the descent, uh, I could definitely leave him in the dust, and I have enough of a flat rating at an 82 to stay away if I still have this the energy. Now, he percentages. is not working right now, and that's not a good sign. I'm going to drop to a 72 here. still holding two minutes. Got to try to conserve some energy so the climb is not somewhere where I want to go hard. Gap down to a minute 30 though. We lose 30, 20 seconds on this climb. 25 seconds or so. It's much too soon. He needs to contribute here. If we're to stay away, he needs to contribute, and he is not contributing. Now he's Somebody's ready to contribute. Oh, only back. for a moment. Thank goodness everyone else escaped unhurt. The group is slowly thinning out due to such a frantic pace. Several riders. Finally, he takes a turn. Away. I do not have a whole lot of energy left after that. And we're down to a chase group of four. And they f make that five. A minute and a half behind. Oh, I'm liking our chances a little bit better now. Uh, I need to gel up for the climb. Not for what's to come after. Because this is where he's going to try to uh, ditch me. Such percentages that the strongest can create some gaps. And there he goes. A small group of riders are trying to get clear of the bunch. Another attack in the leading group. There he goes, as expected. Almost to the top. He's left me behind by 30 seconds. He played me the whole way. And I didn't have much choice. Now, descending-wise, I can definitely catch up to him, but my problem is I need that heart rate to come down a little bit. Come on. Start that recovery. Need to recover. Come on. Come on, heart rate. 
There you go. There you go. There you go. Give me a little recovery. Give me a little recovery. Five kilometers remaining. Okay, arrow. Okay, flat rating. We're catching up to him really fast Watch here. Out. A team leader is falling behind. Two K to go. One K to go. Nope. Oh. oh, we're gonna get second. We're gonna get second. Roscoff takes the win. Deserved. Second place. Oh, I almost caught up to him. Roscoff, so cheeky. Having a teammate with him in the break made all the difference today. All. Literally all of the difference. Uh, it is why he won this race. He had that teammate. And then, very sly move there when it was down to just the two of us. That whole last lap, he, he literally took one turn the whole last lap that was it he said either we're both gonna lose this or i'm gonna claim the victory he sacrificed everything hoping that i wouldn't if i sit up we both go back to the great to the group and then he attacks on the climb anyway where he knows he has an advantage. Now for the best moments of the day. I had to stay away to finish in the top two. And Roskop, so cheeky, so cheeky move to claim the win. And he rode away, and he, he didn't get a huge gap, but it was enough of a gap. And I pulled him back. I was able to recover on the descent where he wasn't. But... I didn't recover a ton, and then the flat wasn't that long, and man oh man, I closed him down pretty quick. I mean, I pulled back 30 seconds on the flat there, but it was too big of a gap at that point. He was just way too fast on the climb for me. In fact, I got close enough to get same time, and we won by a minute 15. It's a great job. <laughs> Great job at Roscop. Oh man, he played me. And I, I saw it, I recognized it, but there was nothing I could do. Because if I eased off, Sepp Kuss is going to beat me. Kevin Vermark is going to beat me. Nielsen Palace is going to beat me. I would have been sixth. Colin Joyce, the only one I might have had a chance with, but he was able to hang with those guys. That was That was the breakaway five, other than one who fell back. So four of the five. If I was in with them, there's no way I'm beating those guys because I'm not as strong of a climber as they are. Colin Joyce, the only one. So, yeah, that, that was my only chance was to stay away. And so stay away. Roscoff put that all on me. And then he just rode away on the climb. Good, Great race from Roscoff. Really, really. Gotta hand it to him. Uh, for me... I played it. I, I did the only thing that I could do under the circumstances to have a chance. And it resulted in second. Between now and the signing period, we have two races the Österreich Rundfahrt and the Tour de Wallonie. After the signing period, one World Tour race. Ride London, Surrey Classic, a couple classics, a little break before another classic, and then Luxembourg, the Crow Race, Perry Tour, and the Japan Cup to end the season. So still have a, a little bit of racing to do, which is actually surprising that we're already at this point. I uh, said that I think an episode or two ago that I was surprised just how fast this season is going. I, my my calendar is definitely not as packed by the team. This is the team's calendar, not my calendar. Uh, I don't know if I changed any races on the calendar this season. I may have added one. I don't think I did, though. Uh, uh, so very, very light calendar from the team this season, which is part of the reason why I haven't scored as many points this season as last. Uh, the other part of the reason is my, my level up did very little for my rider overall but 
compared to the competition. It was just enough to put me into that label of not being just a random writer to being somebody who other teams have their eye on. Uh, I'm in the top 10. Guillaume Say is in the top 10. Luke Rose in the top 15. So as a team, we're, we're having a really strong season. I mean, three riders in the top 15 is pretty dang good. Fabio Aru is third in the Continental Rankings, and I'm just a few spots behind him. We're fourth as a team in the Continental. Uh, Super Prestige, a little bit lower, 19th. And for me, Super Prestige... 33rd. I mean, I'm certainly not in a bad spot, but definitely not where I was last season either. Uh, fewer wins. I mean, we've had, what, two this season, and we are more than halfway through the through the year now, uh, well into the back, about 40%. So it's a mixed bag i mean it hasn't been a bad season i didn't win the u.s national championship obviously that just happened but i wouldn't necessarily put this down as disappointing i mean i'm right behind pavel Sivakov, right ahead of nielsen palace so you know there's there's decent signs there, there's positive signs i'm, I'm doing okay Peter Sagan is only 26th. He's only 50 points ahead of me in the Super Prestige. So, you know, there are things you could look at and go, yeah, yeah, we're doing fine. We're doing okay. Uh, I'm more worried that I'm kind of being forced into heading towards the World Tour for next season unless I re-sign with Beat Cycling Club for a third year. Uh, but that's not what I'm wanting to do, especially when PCM 21, or at least our next uh, Pro Cyclist series is going to be a one team beginning to end series. So I don't want to linger too much. And I think two years is the limit of my stay. So I'm pretty sure we're heading on a world tour. And it looks like NTT is where we're headed to next. Uh, that's going to be a different ball game. I mean, I have the flat rating to, to stay in the Peloton, no problem. Uh, and actually it could be a good thing in the sense that I'll be back to peloton not caring <laughs> about me as a writer uh, i'll be low enough down so actually it could be a good thing moving on next season because i'm hitting that point in continental pro where they're paying just a little too much attention to me and that's why we're struggling a little more this year they there's many times where i could take advantage and go in the break and this year they're just not letting that happen so uh, we're still a couple levels away from our next level up so we've got uh, almost halfway overall we're 10 points shy of halfway through our three levels so definitely still some work to do there uh, i'd like to get that before the end of the season not sure that's going to happen though uh, that does do it for this episode i'm the Cathlon gamer thanks for tuning in be sure to hit that like button and i'll see you next time have a good one be safe out there and bye for now